shows come in. I got a little bit of shaky footage of them. I couldn't get good camera footage of them. They came in off to my left. I got the camera mounted on the right of the tree. I'm solo camming it today because me and Mike didn't think the weather was even going to give us a possibility to be out. Well, so that was the uh, opening day of the New York bow season here in the Southern Zone. It is absolutely pouring out there. I decided to go out this morning. A bunch of the other guys did too. I've been texting them, but I can't believe it. I almost got a shot at a good doe. And that wasn't the spot I planned on hunting this morning. I was going to hunt in a spot where I had a lot of good trail cams with some good bucks, but I figured, hey, you know, it's raining. I was riding on a four-wheeler to get up there. I couldn't go to that spot. I would have been soaked by the time I got there. So I went to this close spot. I was going to try to shoot a doe, and I can't believe I almost got a chance. I snuck right in behind me about 15 yards away when I first seen them. And then, I don't know, I think they crossed my track. They started acting goofy. And then uh, with the wind blowing, they just they just hightailed it out of there. They were acting really funny, as they do when, it went, when it's windy. Okay, well here we are everybody. Today is uh, it's October 15th. It's the opening day of the muzzleloader season here in northern New York. It's about uh, it's about 4 o'clock right now. I would love to be in the tree stand, but as you can see, Mother Nature's not cooperating with us. We've got uh, wind gusts of up around 40 miles an hour, and it's been raining pretty hard all day. And uh, when you're trying to film hunts and you've got, uh, got a bunch of camera gear with you, you got to think about keeping that stuff dry, so I'm hoping to, uh, that this little rain cell here will pass us. I just checked my cell phone, uh, the radar, and they're showing up a, a little blob of uh, rain coming our way. And then uh, maybe things clearing up here a little bit before dark, so we'll, uh, we'll get in the tree stand as soon as we can. But uh, just one more element you got to think about when you're filming hunts is keeping all the gear dry, so... But uh, like I said, hopefully this rain, this little rain cell will pass us here shortly and uh, we can get the tree stand and start bringing us some action. Well, I was finally able to get in the tree stand with about an hour of daylight left and was able to film this small doe as she passed through the brush without giving me a shot. The next morning, I hunted the same stand with no luck.
pretty neat right there. We just had that same, I think it was that same buck that we filmed earlier. He was just uh, sparring with another small buck. Looked like they were both spike horns or maybe one was a spike, one was a crotch horn. Couldn't really tell. But there were two year and a half old bucks. Nothing we want to shoot. But uh, anytime you get to see two bucks like that sparring, I'll tell you what, it's super exciting. And it just makes you realize what's to come. I mean, here we are, October 16th, and in the next week or two, we're going to start seeing some more activity like that. And uh, hopefully, we'll get to see their bigger brothers or their grandfather doing the same thing. So. When I first saw this deer appear out of the swamp, I thought it was a mature doe. But after settling the Nikon Omega, I realized it was a spike horn, and I was gonna let to pass him. I could have smoked either one of those bucks, but they're just not what I'm looking for.
here all the we heard the buck coming up through. I didn't really get a chance to see how many points he had, but he looks pretty decent. I had him at 20 yards right here, broadside. I had him a little back. Let's hope it was a good, uh, let's hope we get a kill. Probably gonna have to leave him overnight, but... Cross your fingers. It's Saturday, October 23rd. You see on my video from yesterday, I said Friday the 20th. I was wrong. Um, you know, emotions got the best of me. But right now we're standing at the arrow, the impact. Um, we got blood all over. We got blood coated this tree, sprayed all over the tree. We're gonna go do a track job and see if we can't recover this beast. Which way do you run? Alright, well, we came up here this morning and realized that we probably could have tracked this deer last night. The blood trail was was thick. Let me tell you, the trees were sprayed, there was blood all over. He didn't go but probably 70 yards. Um, maybe a little farther, maybe 100 yards. Not quite as big as we thought he was yesterday when he came in, but it all happened so fast. I'm still happy with him, pleased with him. He's a good deer. It was fun, happened quick. I wish I didn't hit him so far back, but I caught that femoral artery, and he expired quick. Deerinterfane.com TV is sponsored by Outback Archery, Bruin Outfitters, Timberland Realty, Christian Bow and Arms of America, and His Way Archers. Deer Run Cab Rentals, Grizzly Gary Outdoors, Grizzly Gary Radio Show, Twin Pine Taxidermy, the Sinclairville Super Rat, HunterbyDesign.com, and Insane Archery.